Why, hello there, everyone. I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. Mina san, ohayo gozaimasu. And today, we're gonna be feeding some tarantulas. So, allow me to explain about what has happened. So, originally, the tarantulas you're seeing in this video was supposed to be rehoused this week. But what ended up happening was that I ran out of substrate and I had to order more. So, my substrate is not coming in until next week or maybe the week after next week. So while I'm waiting for my substrate to come in, I'm going to actually feed these guys ahead of time. So that way I don't really have to feed them later on after they're rehoused. So let's get straight into this. Overall, only some of them ate, some of them didn't, but I tried. And uh, you're going to see me trying to actually get these guys to eat, but some of them were just not hungry today. Usually tarantulas of this size, 3 inches plus in my collection, I feed once every 3 weeks to once every month. So basically, if they don't eat this week, I wouldn't be too surprised, and there's always a next time. So honestly, this is all normal stuff. But I really wanted to rehouse them this week, but, you know, things happen, things don't go as planned, and sometimes things get pushed back. And the biggest thing of all is that I have a lot of enclosures I gotta clean out. So I have a bunch of old enclosures from previous rehouses that are pretty much empty that I gotta clean out, so that way they can be ready to be used again. And oh boy! As stated before, I'm not really the biggest fan of cleaning out old enclosures that are empty because it's really just a lot of hassle and work, but hey, it's part of the job. So that's probably going to be for next week's video, so uh, if you want to see me wash dishes, I mean wash enclosures, please stick around. And I don't know if it's just me, but for some reason, it seems like all of the resources I usually buy, such as substrate, containers for enclosures, etc. It seems like to me there's a shortage of supplies, which is probably why everything I'm getting is either delayed, late, or out of stock. And honestly, it's becoming more and more frequent, not to mention prices going up for them. It used to be so much cheaper, but man, I don't know, everything's becoming more expensive. So a little bit of context here. So usually for us tarantula breeders, we usually buy things in bulk or we buy things at wholesale to essentially get more money for what we spend or more bank for your buck if that's the term you want to use. But I don't know, it seems like everything has gone up 60 cents to a dollar, maybe a little bit more. But honestly, that's such a huge difference because if you think about it, it all adds up. So for us tarantula breeders, we usually use plastic containers, such as food containers, etc, etc, because it's the most cheapest that you can buy in bulk. But I know there are some tarantula keepers out there that use exoterras, glass enclosures, and things of that nature. And honestly, it's all preferences at the end of the day. As long as the spider is healthy and is thriving, then really, that's all that matters the most. So it's really just preferences. But in terms of budget-wise, us tarantula breeders, we usually just stick with, you know, the food containers or the storage containers. But I'm curious as to what kind of enclosures you viewers actually use for your spiders or your animals in general. Do you viewers use glass, sterilized containers, acrylic? Let me know down below. I'm very curious to see what everyone uses. So let us move on. So one thing I really want to thank everyone for is the YouTube Shorts. So yes, I have been using some of the unused older footage from my videos that I haven't used on uh, this channel yet. I've been editing them and then posting them as YouTube Shorts here on the channel. And I surely do hope that you guys enjoy them because it seems like it's been picking up a little bit of steam. So I'm glad that that's the case. And I hope you viewers continue to support this channel because as I stated before, I am trying to start a small tarantula business locally. So let us wait and see, right? And maybe the more support we can get, the more I can do in the future. Such as going out into the field and looking at actual spiders in nature. Or maybe importing. Who knows, right? Anything's possible on the table here. As long as everyone supports this channel. Whether it's watching, subscribing, liking. Any way possible is fine with me. And as I stated, as we approach 1,000 subscribers, I will do a giveaway of 5 Monosotropus Balfouri Slings as a communal to one lucky winner at 1,000 subs. We're not doing it just yet, I'm waiting until we actually pass the 1,000 subscriber mark. So this 1,000 subscriber giveaway only applies to the United States because I cannot export outside of the United States because I do not have my import or export permit. So as of now, this giveaway only applies to the United States. But maybe in the future I can actually import and export outside of the United States. So let us wait and see, right? So I do plan on doing more giveaways in the future because I'm a tarantula breeder. And obviously I'm going to have extra slings now and then. And why not give those away, right? So I do want to give my subscribers more chances to actually win something or to be chosen for something. And as of now, it really shouldn't be too difficult to actually choose a winner because my comment section is usually pretty empty. 
so everyone has a pretty high chance of actually being chosen for now and as his channel grows bigger and so does the fan base and the comments and whatnot, it will become more difficult to be chosen. So this is why I want to try and at least do more of this type of giveaway to my subscribers more frequently if possible. But hey, I don't want to make promises everyone, so this is not set in stone. And also, I'm not making any promises, so... This is something we kind of had to test the waters out and wait and see honestly over time and see how this goes. So let's just say this is a goal for now, but let's not make this a promise. So let's see how long it'll take for us to hit 1000 subscribers. We're getting there and we're very, very close. So it's not going to be too far until that happens. And honestly, I don't know exactly what I want my viewers to actually comment once that video goes up, that is. So uh, please wait. Don't comment now unless you want to, but man, it's just a lot to take in, honestly, because I've been doing YouTube for so long and it feels like it's slowly starting to pay out. And I have to say, I only posted videos on this channel because I enjoyed them and I also wanted to teach everybody a bit about the tarantula breeding side of things and I know there's other tarantula YouTubers out there but for me to come this far is truly an amazing thing and I'm truly thankful to everyone. And uh yeah, without further ado, I guess I'll call this a video for today. So as the typical, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to stick around. I upload every single Tuesday and Friday here on the channel and also follow me on my IG and my Patreon, and thank you to Patreon members such as Kale for keeping my spiders fed because it goes a very long way for sure. And with that, stay lax and laxo out from the Kumo Sensei. <laughs>